Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to another Smash Bros. moveset tier list. Today I am going to be doing Meta Knight, the very first Brawl newcomer. Um, Yeah, this series is going by rather quickly because I think I've been on this for uh, I think just two months or so, maybe a month. But, man... We're already at the Brawl characters. Kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, I don't usually say this a lot, but if you guys are enjoying this, feel free to like. And always feel free to share any opinions. Because obviously I'm not going to get every move right because I don't play every single character. I'm just doing this for fun. <laughs> but let's just get started on the tier list. So first of all... Shout out to Turbo43210. He made this tier list. So I'm going to be using this tier list for this video. So let's go over the tiers. So we got bad moves that you basically shouldn't use because they have a lot of weaknesses. Meh, we got moves that are usable at most. Average moves that are, you know... Pretty borderline, decent, middle of the ground, strong moves that are pretty powerful in this kit. Probably going to use them off. And then finally, Busted, we got moves that can do a lot and can even steal stocks, potentially. So, so let's start with this jab. Um, his jab is kind of meh. It's, it's an okay jab. It's not the worst, but it's definitely not. The strongest either. It's a multi jab. However, his forward tilt is basically his jab to me. It's I don't. Know, it's what I use more, just because it's a three hit and it also sends your opponent much further and it has less end leg. I think. Um. Oh no! It actually has one frame more, but. It still sends him further, so um, it's still better to use. And also, it, it is since it's a multi-hit move, you can get punished if you do with it. So at least with forward tail, you can do maybe one forward tail if you miss it, and then shield or something. I don't know, but it's definitely better to use than his jab. Not saying that his jab isn't usable, since you could use it at the edge to get more damage in, but that's really the best way to use it in my opinion and then we got down tilt i'm gonna put down tilt on strong just because you can trip opponents at early percentages and you know it's just it's good it's just like marks down tilt. he can shield poke they can do quite a lot and it's fast too so yeah three frames that's not bad that's that's actually even faster than his jab actually wow I didn't know it was that much better. And then we got up tilt. Um, I'm going to also put it here. I just believe up tilt is outclassed by other moves. For example, dash attack outclasses up tilt. Same with up air. Even up smash outclasses it. It's still a usable move. You can definitely, um, you can definitely start combos with it. You can catch opponents. It's definitely usable. However, its hitbox is kind of thin, so it may look big here, but that's just because uh, it makes it, it looks bigger because his model's larger. But it has a pretty bad hitbox. Like, look at the look at the purple. That's like the rising hitbox. I think it's supposed to like combo into into the stronger move, but it doesn't hit on his side, meaning you can't really use it as a riser. I remember I tried doing that and I just got punished for it because it wouldn't hit opponents that were behind him. It really sucks. You know, I kind of want to knock it down for that reason, but it seems unfair. I'm just like really stupid for doing that. Moving on to smash attacks. All of his smash attacks are pretty good. So forward smash, down smash, and then I think I'll put up smash in average. I don't use up smash that often, but it's still better than up tilt in my opinion. So let's take a look at forward smash. So look how safe it is on shield. Six frames. Negative six frames. That's very good. 
Up smash. Wow, it's actually really fast. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'm putting this up here. I didn't know it was that much faster. Or actually, it's the same. It's the same frame as up tilt, but it's faster than forward smash, which I did not know. That's kind of insane. However, it is less safe, so I guess there's a bit of a balance there. And then down smash. Oh my god, also super quick. Holy crap. Um, I think I'll do... I definitely use forward smash a lot more just because it's stronger. But down smash can be used for both sides. It's very quick too, so it's like it's like one two instead of one two, if that makes sense. So let's let's have a look at down smash. Actually, it may look slower because it's that's how they usually are in the frame data. But it's definitely faster than that. It's like it's like four times that speed. Then we got his nair. Or, yeah, we got his nair next. His aerials, honestly, all of his are all of his aerials are very good. So I'm gonna put four, or I'll put in there, forward air, back air, and then these two are going to go up here, just because you guys may know uh, Meta Knight is capable of doing ladder combos and bridge combos with his aerials, so it's, it's one of those things where it's harder than it looks. It's definitely going to take a lot of time and practice to do. I've attempted it one time in the training. And I just couldn't do it because I'm not. I, I don't play Meta Knight, but he's still a fairly beginning beginner friendly character, so you can still use his other aerials. So you can still use forward air, back air. I definitely use those a lot more than up air and down air, just because they're still very good. Honestly, just like I said, every aerial in this kit is good. Um. But ideally, you want to use Nair, forward air, and back air as, like, finishers after after you do enough hits with your up airs and down airs. Usually, it's going to be your finisher, combo ender, whatever you want. So, once you get close to the blast zone, you quickly pull out Nair. Or, I guess if you're... Yeah, it's mostly if you're at the side of the blast zone. So if you're at the top of the blast zone, you're, you're going to want to use shuttle loop for that. But I think you can still use Nair for that. I'm not too sure. Again, I can't really do ladder combos that well. But theoretically, you could use Nair. So I might put Nair higher now that I'm thinking about it. Since it's definitely more usable in every in every type of combo in this kit. Uh, next we got his specials. He's got some very interesting specials just because they're all basically recovery moves. Um, so his tornado, honestly, this thing, I only use this as a combo finisher or I guess it's like a, a tech read. I, I don't, I don't use it too often, but it's still pretty good. Um, some of that I use it for recovering, but there, uh, there's a, what's it called? Special fall or free fall. You get into free fall after using it off the ledge. So be careful when using that. Honestly, all these specials do put you in free fall. So I, I, I definitely should note that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, its main use is just as a combo ender. You can still use Nair, but I think I think Tornado is much stronger than Nair. I'm not sure. Um, next, we got his Drill Rush. I'm going to put this in bad just because it doesn't really do a lot. Unless you're like 10 years old, you're probably, <laughs> you're probably not going to use this move. Like, I, I, don't, I don't use it just because... It's predictable. It's super unsafe. Let's just look at the frame data real quick. Also, that's that's the frame data for his aerials. They're still very quick, especially his down air. Um. So yeah, neutral beat. Yeah, you see how it's twelve frames. Usually, it's better to use Nair, but it is much stronger and has a bigger hitbox. So I don't know. Pick and choose if you want. And you also have more control of it. 
Um, right here, 26 frames. That that's a full second right here. Um, you could cancel it by aiming your stick downwards. If you hit the ground or a wall, you do kind of bounce back, so you could fake out opponents. But even then, I still don't see that as a viable choice. So I'm going to put it down there. It doesn't kill either. It doesn't. It only kills if you use it off the map, but that's still very risky because if you mess it up, you're going to die. Um, you can also you can still use the recovery move, but you can get countered. You can get punished for it. So yeah, just a lot of weaknesses in that move, in my opinion. Uh, let's move on. So we got this down B dimensional cape. I actually really like this move. I'm gonna put it up in strong, just because you can use it to um, really mix up recoveries. You can. Use it as a kill move, as a as a recovery move, or as like a disadvantage. Get out of disadvantage move. Very good move. If you hold it down, you you do an attack. But if you just press it, you you can move wherever you want. Kind of like if you're using Mewtwo's up B, for example. Um. Yeah, nothing more to say. Um. Next, we got his up B shuttle loop. Um, this is ideally going to be your best combo ender for ladder combos. So I'll just put it right next to his dimensional cape. Um, you can also use the recovery, of course. That's his main recovery. So next, we got his throw. So forward throw I, I don't I don't think his throws are very are very good I think I, I don't know um you could probably do some combos after forward throw so that sends them kind of closer to you so maybe you can follow up with like a forward air and then back throw uh yeah I don't use back throw that much I don't know it's just kind of meh to me. I'll put it in there because I don't think it's as bad as Drill Rush. Down throw is going to be your best combo starter. So I'll put it... Um, I'll just put it right before his aerials. And then up throw is going to be your kill throw. So he, does ha he already has a lot of amazing kill moves. So I'll just put it in average just because I don't... I don't think I need to use it. But you can if you have platforms. So it's kind of like Kirby's up throw. Throws your opponent, you fly upwards, and then you land on whichever platform is above you, or the highest platform possible. So, that's basically how that works. Anyways, that'll be it for Meta Knight's list. Um, yeah, I will see you all in a bit.